On Friday, August 28, 2015, the six crew members of the 4th Hawaii Space Exploration Analog and Simulation, or High Seas Mission, entered the solar-powered dome on the slopes of Mauna Loa, where they will be living in isolation for one year. The University of Hawaii at Manoa Research Project is simulating long-duration space travel. The fourth mission is longer than any mission we've done before. So the first two were four months, the next one was eight months, and finally we're doing a full year-long mission. Funded by NASA, the mission will build on previous research on crew member cohesion and performance over time. We need to understand how to pick crews and how to support crews while they're on the mission uh, in order for us to get to Mars and back safely. I'm looking forward to getting to act like an astronaut for a year. It's, um, I've wanted to be an astronaut for most of my life and it's, um, you know, I'm not a real astronaut yet, but I'm getting closer and closer to the dream. This is a step in that direction. The morning the crew entered the high seas dome, crew member Carmel Johnston browsed a local Hilo music shop on a personal mission of her own. I'm trying to find an ukulele so that I can learn a new skill set while I'm in the dome. Just before the high seas mission started, crew member Shayna Gifford reflected on what one year in isolation might be like. Well, I think it's taken for granted that we'll all miss our friends and family, but just this, the wind in your face, the sun, that I'm going to miss a lot.